Hey viewer, it's Silent 9 and I'm gonna show you guys how to do a rune farm for lower levels. Yes, you heard me right there. If you have just started the game, then you don't have to go too far to do this rune farm. And this rune farm is the best one out there. With this, you're gonna be getting at least up to 9 to 10 million runes per hour. If you're on New Game Plus, then you can get even 20 million. And shout out to the sponsor, which is AOEAH.com. If you want cheap runes, items, and anything in Elden Ring, check them out and then use code SILENT for 3% off. But anyways, that's it, and let's move on to this crazy rune farm. Now I have posted this before, but I never posted this way of doing it. Take advantage of this, you do not need the relic sword. So there are a few things that you need to complete before you start this glitch. Number one is you want to go through Rennie's quest line and defeat Radon, which is really easy to beat. He's not that hard of a boss, he's actually fairly easy. And if you do not know how to go to that boss fight, I will explain how to do that at the end of the video, so stay tuned. But once you're done completing the boss, you wanna go over to the round table and make sure that you unlock the sword for the remembrance and just not the other thing. So unlock the sword like you see me, then you will have the sword. At this point, you wanna make sure that you upgrade the sword as high as you can. So if you can, get it to level eight or level nine. You then want to head all the way over to the dynasty area. Now, like I said, this has been shown before, but I'm showing you guys the best way to do it if you don't have the relic sword, since some of you guys, I would have to assume, don't have it, because this game can be challenging, especially for new players. Now, if you do not know how to get this unlocked, stay tuned until the end, because I'll show you that as well. But once you have the place unlocked and the weapon, unlocked you then want to make sure that you have the golden pickled foul foot and the golden scarab if you don't know how to get those stay tuned until the end because i will explain how to get these at the end you want to simply get a bow with some arrows so we can head over to a merchant and basically just buy a bow it's really easy to do that and then just buy some arrows but once you have those things, you are ready to start this farm and get 10 million runes really quickly. And in order to do this, you want to head all the way over to this grace. Then from this grace, you want to head to this part of the cliff. Take out that bow, aim that bow at the bird, and then shoot the bird. Once you are done hitting that bird, you then want to turn to your right, take out that sword, and then simply use a special attack on that sword and that will do a attack that does AoE damage and takes out a ton of these enemies right here. You should basically instantly kill them if you have your sword upgraded to a high level, but while you're instantly killing them, you should see you're gonna get 17,000 runes, and then when you kill them, you're gonna get about 30,000 runes. At this point, you wanna head all the way over to that grace, rest at that grace, then stand up. At this point, take out that bow, Go to the side of the cliff that I go to, then shoot that bird. At this point, make sure you only have that sword out and do that special AoE attack with the sword and take out the group of enemies and you're going to get another 40,000 runes. At this point, go to the grace, rest, stand up, and simply rinse and repeat. I did miss so much with this bird and if you are way better aiming than I am, you're going to be able to do this four times in a minute. Yes, four times in one minute. If you have the relic sword, you can just simply use a relic sword, but this guide is for the people that have not completed the game yet. So this is just more of an early game and just new player type of guide. But basically, you want to keep on rinsing and repeating, and if you hit that bird, we'll be able to do this at least four times in a minute. And now, if you do the math, I'm going to do the math, so all of you guys don't say I'm clickbaiting. But basically, what you need to do to get the math right is you're going to be doing this for an hour, so 60 minutes. You want to take the four and then times it by 60, since you're going to be doing it four times per minute, and there's 60 minutes in an hour. Then, once you get that number, you times that by the amount that you get per run, which is going to be 40,000 if you're not on New Game Plus. And that will equal to 9.2 million, which is pretty much 10 million. And that's exactly how I got that number. And it's completely possible to do that. Now, if you're on New Game Plus, then you're just going to times it by around 80,000, which I'm pretty sure you should be getting around that. And maybe even more because you do have that Relic Sword. But pretty much, if you do this on New Game Plus, you're going to be getting like 18 million. So there's the math. And I'm going to say 10 million because it looks better than 9 million. And that's how I got the number. But anyways, that's it 
for that and that's how you guys do this farm i know this farm has been posted many times but i'm doing this because a lot of people don't know you can use these swords to make it faster and you know i didn't know it either until a little bit ago and i want to show you guys this since you know a ton of newer players and a ton of players that just haven't completed the game you know definitely need to check this out but anyways that is it and let's move on to how to get these items and how to get the sword and everything so number one is i'm gonna show you guys how to get the sword you want to make sure that you have the round table unlocked then go to the church of ella and basically be here at night rennie will be sitting here and you basically want to talk to her and then she will give you a bell at this point you're going to be heading all the way over to rennie's tower then go into it once you get to the top of rennie's tower you're going to see rennie simply talk to rennie then she is going to tell you to talk to three other people, which the three other people are located on the lower part of the tower. Simply head to each room and you're going to see that there are going to be three people in total that you need to talk to and simply talk to them. Now head all the way over to the right of the map. You're going to see this teleporter. Simply go through this teleporter. That is going to lead you into this castle. Now, once you are here, you should be able to just see somebody standing right here. Then just talk to the character. After you talk to the character, head all the way up these stairs to go to another character and then just talk to his other character. A cutscene should play, then go through this door, head down the elevator, go straight over to this teleporter and then teleport. That is going to lead you to the boss fight. You want to beat the boss in this boss fight. That is going to give you a remembrance. And then you want to head to the round table after you complete the boss fight and simply trade the remembrance in for the sword. And that's exactly how you get the sword. I went fully in depth. Next thing is a golden scarab. Golden scarab can be found right here in Kaled. And you basically just want to go through this cave and defeat the boss in this cave. There is going to be Scarlet Rot in this cave, so you just want to make sure that you move fast in this cave. It can be challenging to get, but that is where that's located. Next thing is a Pickled Foul Foot. Simply head all the way over to Mucklewater Cave. There is going to be a boss fight called Patches. Basically, make sure that you do not kill Patches and let him surrender and let him be on your team. Go to Patches and then pick up the actual crafting recipe for the Pickled Foul Foot, which will be in the menu for, you know, buying stuff for Patches. You want to craft the item, so you need to get the fruit is going to be located all around the map it's really easy to find next thing is the fireflies which is going to be located all the way down south in this swamp simply pick the stuff up there third thing is going to be the stuff that drops from birds head all the way over to the left south part of the map then simply take out a bow and take out these birds and then you guys will eventually get the item that you need to get this crafted now once you have those three items you're going to be able to craft the pickled foul foot and you will have that those two items will allow you to get more runes. now in order to unlock this area basically just follow what i say i'm going very briefly on what to do i'm going wicked quick so you guys can do this asap and let's get right into how to unlock this area step one is to talk to the guy that's in the very beginning that calls you maidenless you want to simply just go right ahead and get the horse unlocked then go to the round table then go back and talk to the same guy he will want you to defeat two enemies the first enemy is right here on the map the second enemy is going to be a bit further up and then it's going to be just basically right here after you defeat those two enemies you want to go back to the same character in the beginning he should be gone now you want to simply head all the way over to this location further up on the map and then simply talk to him right here he's going to give you a item that will allow you to invade people you want to invade three people then go back to the same person he is going to be giving you a item that you need to get bloody and in order to get the item bloody you want to simply head all the way over to this location on the map which is towards the left side like so then once you are right here you guys want to make sure that you get the one key from this chest then go to this teleporter and then basically turn on this teleporter that is going to teleport you back to spawn where you literally like spawn that in this game and then you want to simply defeat the boss that you died from earlier when you started the game now once you defeat it you want to go forward go into the church then go over to this dead body and then press triangle y or whatever it is on pc and basically go right ahead and then pick up the item that he's going to give you which is going to be that bloody cloth type of thing i forgot the exact name but that's what it's going to give you you then want to go back to the church to where that guy called you maidenless in the beginning you know the same guy i don't know his name i really don't but basically what you need to do next is talk to him he is going to give you a teleporter or an item that will teleport you to the dynasty area and that's how you get to the dynasty area i went super quick and super brief but that's how you do it hopefully i did get everything because i haven't done that quest in a long time since i got this area unlocked a long time ago 
but that should be everything that you need to do to get this area unlocked. That should as well be everything you need to do to get the swords, and that should be everything to get the golden scarab and the pickled foul foot. Simply combine all of those to make this farm insane and get millions and millions of runes, and that's how you do it. You really don't have to go too late into the game. It's basically early game. You only need to defeat like four or five bosses, which really isn't many, and you know, it's not too bad. So go right ahead, take advantage of this. This right here is the early game runes farm and this is a very good one this is the best way to do this dynasty area rune farm and stay tuned for more glitches farms tips and tricks builds and everything elden ring but anyways that is it for this video hopefully you did enjoy i went super in depth and i showed you guys exactly how to do it this is the best video that i have on this farm and definitely like i said stay tuned for more but anyways that's it hopefully you did enjoy please like comment and subscribe to become part of the ninja team but anyways that's it have a good day or night see you later peace out